Hello and welcome back to my road to 200 kilogram total. Now for today it is again the third day of the of the session and this is the hardest one of them all. And you guessed it, it is because of the bicep curls and the pull-ups and blue raises. Well actually yeah, it's just those three. Everything else is the other two exercises. Two out of five exercises in today's workout selection is exercise selection is pretty pretty easy right so as you notice I did not record my banded activation that is because I just didn't feel like recording the banded activation I thought it was kind of too what do you call that it's too repetitive to just keep seeing the same thing over and over again well actually that's pretty much this, the past uh, 40 something 30 40 something videos but I don't know I it just felt like something that didn't that sh doesn't need to be seen again because again not everyone's gonna have a different warm-up but in terms of the bar and the bar warm-up and the mobility that's gonna be the same more or less the same um, across the board it's gonna be just moving movement with the bar that mimics or loosens the joints loosens the muscles loosens the ligaments basically you're just practicing the movement now because of that that allows me to focus now on the commentary for the clean and jerk or for the main movement itself now something again even though i thought i was able to improve on the aggressiveness of the feet fits is still telling me that I need to be way more aggressive so that's why I have a lot of uh, foot drills uh, movement drills with the feet just making that making the stomp a lot more basically it's louder or yeah it's louder because that's how I created it to be more aggressive because you are forcefully bringing your feet down right away Yep, as you can see, I'm bringing my feet right into that position. I also took my warm ups aggressively. Basically, uh, how I would do this is actually a mark of a you know, a real weightlifter if he performs his warm up weights the same way he would his maximal, maximal loads. You can see the same for La for Lasha. Lasha will pull. Lasha pulls to the same height every time during the clean and that pays off because you you know the movement, you know just exactly where to catch it, what height you're going to be bringing it to, just and how much force to, well basically yeah, it's that part of the movement is the technique and just, just have an excuse to rag on Mark Ripto, bruh, it, weightlifting isn't just a it although weightlifting is a strength sport, it's also technique. There's no way anyone can just snatch half their deadlift, come on man. Well anyways, enough of that little rant. Actually I won't even call it a rant, it's just throwing throwing some shade. Oh boy, if you ever if you ever listen to your rant, especially about how Asian no not just Asian, that's I'm Asian by the way, so don't take that against me, but how people say that oh, lifting weights at a young age then you're then you'll shrink. Now that you shrunk because you're already your kids will shrink because you are not tall. Okay? Oh anyway. Before I continue with that rant, uh this my this 82 and a half boom absolute perp that was the most perfect jerk I've ever done in my life. That was, um, I think the proper term is I abs I owned it. I owned that bottom position, and it was, I, and during the clean I also managed to get the aggressiveness down as well. I think I hope I haven't heard back from Fitz yet if that was what he meant by aggressive feet. But anyways, now time to the actual killer part of the workout. It's the bicep curl and the pull-ups now I, I i admit i cheated this because it's supposed to be 20 20 bicep curls plus 10 pull-ups with 30 kilo 30 kilogram weight during on the bicep curls and then 10 pull-ups 
I hated this because as if you've counted properly, I, I only did 10. But come on, this is six sets. That's 120. That's 120 bicep curls. Plus 60 pull-ups. So I'm not even finishing the pull-ups at this point. It's it's half it's half repped. And something I'm doing to offset that is that I am. How do you call this? When I when I jog my dog in the morning, I usually pass by a jungle gym and I do my pull-ups there. Perfect form. And that's and by perfect form I mean straight up, straight down, full lockout every time. And I try to max out as many as I can. And I can usually get 18 perfect reps before having to really grind out the last two or four. Yeah, because if I just repped it out and without paying much mind to form, so like not completely locked out, but definitely more than what this than this 45 degree bull, uh, 90 degree bull. Uh, like maybe zero is around 10 10 degrees bend anyway i digress so yeah that's that is the uh bicep plus plus now to help just to get the volume in i decided that i needed to do the last 60 16 bicep curls after my main workout so uh, so that's after the accessory work I was just going to do either again 6 sets of 10 or 4 sets of 15 and I ended up doing six, 4 sets of 15 and that absolutely sucked even though it was just even though there were no pull-ups pull it was just bicep curls so. and yeah I'm absolutely dying oh my god I'm still going this is the, I think the last set this is the, no, the sixth set of the well, basically, it's just the final set for the pull-ups. But anyways, back to what I was saying a while ago with the, in terms of the height thing. Yeah, if you're, uh, Lasha is six foot six, I believe, and no one is gonna tell him that he's small. Absolutely no one. Yeah. It's really just in your, it's in your genes. If you're small, your child will be small. No amount of weight training is gonna mess that up unless, you know, he, unless the, a 100 kilogram barbell slams on top of a five year old and I doubt any self-respecting coach would ever let a kid back squat more than, well, I can't give a good number of that, but it's probably going to, no coach is actually, is gonna give a kid a weight that he knows that he can't handle. Because the compression forces again, there some compression forces will affect your growth, but it, it's genes, man. It's it's genes, not Billy Jean, not genes as in what you wear. Your genetics, it's your freaking genetics. Oh God, I'm still yeah. I'm sorry guys for anyone, for any hardcore weightlifters that wanted, that expected like this whole video to be just me doing snatches and clean and jerks. No, oh, the accessories are just killing me here. Absolutely brutal. Alright, I'm looking at the screen and I think I have two more sets. God damn. Anyways, back to what I was saying again. Uh, because I only recorded one set of my accessory work even though it was five, no four sets. For the Lou raises, what I did was I practiced my Lou raises on off every other day, not just on this day. So tried to do as many actual Lou raises as possible because ah uh, here we go for my for this day. Yeah, as you can see, the weight prescribed was actually fif yeah 15 kilos, but there was absolutely no way I was gonna be able to do 15 loo raises with that so I ended up doing shoulder flies and I also but on the other days I do my loo raises as part of my just a maintenance work you know it, they call it obligatory work but just so that I can have that strength to bring it up and so far so far so good I'm now doing five sets with 10 kilos five sets of four to five at 10 kilos but yeah that's it's still something it's better than nothing and at least i'm actually practicing blue raises 
which is why my shoulders are getting pretty jacked at this point. And lastly, here is the single arm shooter rose. And that's it for today's video. Hope you guys liked it. Subscribe for, subscribe for more and see you in the next one. Which I'll hopefully attempt a 190, 185 or 190 total.